Well, we have an asteroid alarm as a space rock. Half the size of the city of London is approaching Earth. This is by Brian McLean on Express UK. We noticed that we've learned a few things in the past few days because of the asteroid that was supposed to miss us, that was way out beyond our moon. We were told that we had no fear. It was a small asteroid, about 30 feet in diameter, but still it came careening in at us over the Caribbean. And this took place July 25th. And uh, the astronomers were astonished because it wasn't supposed to come anywhere near us. Unfortunately, the near-Earth asteroids that they track are mostly big size. They don't track the little ones uh, because we are basically in jeopardy of uh, something called an extinction-level event if we're hit by a bigger asteroid. And easier, it's also easier for them to spot the bigger ones. But that's the point in time that they see where these big asteroids are heading, that's what they report to us. But there's something happening to them when they're out there. They are being uh, heated by the sun, the sun's rays, and this heat on their surface changes the temperature, causing them to tumble and turn on their axes. And as they do that, uh, they have especially if they're small, they have a chance of tumbling out of their trajectory and being brought into Earth by our gravity. And not only being brought in, changing through their path, but they can also break up into two, becoming binary asteroids or into a group of asteroids. That's why when Chelyabinsk was hit a couple of years ago, they didn't see that coming out of anywhere. And the same day, we were hit in over, somewhere over the United States the same day as Chelyabinsk was hit. But Chelyabinsk got most of the, uh, the harm. I think a thousand, a one and a half thousand people were injured and over 7,000 buildings had been uh, damaged by the, uh, basically the, the shock wave. But um, even recently over the UK, over Plymouth, Early in the morning, they saw something uh, shooting over the sky that uh, the police believe could be uh, a meteorite and uh, that it broke into two pieces. And also in the same area, in the middle of UK, even at night, they saw something whizzing by. So we're in a trajectory of supposedly the celestial bodies that hit Tunguska a while back creating a, a very big destruction over the Siberian forests there. And uh, we're in that, in the path of those uh, uh, asteroids and meteors, which are not safe. They're big, they're big sizes. So here we are now at this near-Earth asteroid that uh, is estimated to be half the size of the city of London. And it will cross our orbit, it will cross the Earth's orbit September 24th and uh, has sent signals buzzing when its movements were computed a couple of days ago. The asteroid is 430 meters, which is what? It's uh, over 1,200 feet across. So that is huge. It's been labeled 1998 FF14 the number is 523934, 1998 FF14. This asteroid will be traveling at a very high speed of 14 miles per second. That's 22.26 kilometers per second. It was discovered in 1998 by Lincoln Near Earth Asteroid Research, LINAR for short, at Socorro, New Mexico. It's right now close to Earth at a distance of 0 0.027 astronomical miles, astronomical units. As we know, an astronomical unit is about 93 million miles. It's the distance between the Earth and the Sun. So the distance from this planet, the distance it is from the planet Jupiter, is uh, 3.91 astronomical units. 
Most near-Earth asteroids have orbits similar to our Earth, but the random chance of an oddball trajectory intersecting our orbit is lower. In this case, asteroid 1998 FF14 is one of those oddballs interjecting, uh, intersecting our orbit. It has an inclined orbit, tilted at a steep angle compared to our Earth orbit, and the time around it pa may pass within 4.1 million kilometers from Earth, that's 2.5 million miles, the closest it ever comes. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson echoed NASA's concern and fear about near-Earth objects, but he says that asteroids are not the biggest threat to mankind, the popular astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson warned that asteroids should not be the primary concern for an end-of-the-world scenario. During his 2015 Amazon Prime series, he explained uh, the, the, the uh, title, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson Explains Everything. He says, I think about what could threaten civilization often. Aside from asteroids that could render us extinct, all of those kinds of things that are out there, it's there, yes, but it doesn't preoccupy me, he says. Tyson, who hosts his own Star Talk podcast, where he explains and explores similar uh, subjects, went on to say that humans will hinder their own chances of survival in the future. He says, what preoccupies me is a concern that we might not be wise enough to be good shepherds of our own fate, Wisdom is not just knowledge, it's how do you act on that knowledge. And how do you get knowledge about the future? Well, that's kind of what the whole enterprise of science is about. So, uh, maybe after hearing what he has to say, that comment, we need a good stiff cup of coffee. Because, of course, we know that we have asteroids out there. We have to have asteroid missions to keep them away and protect Earth. Now, in November, a European space minister said, to, uh, are set to back uh, the HERA project, which is humanity's first mission to orbit the double asteroid and dispatch two smaller drones named CubeSats, the double asteroid of Didymus, the twin asteroid, and uh, they will attempt to um, deflect the little one, the moonlet, by uh, crashing a uh, spacecraft on it hard enough to push it out of its trajectory significantly. And that will be a success for them, because, and also they want to test what material is made out of. Astrophysicist and Queen guitarist Brian May says, the plans during a promotional video on their YouTube last month, he says, Hera is going to show us things no one has ever seen before. This asteroid is typical of thousands that pose an impact risk to our planet. Imagine a mountain in the sky with another rock about the size of a great pyramid swinging around it. That's Didymus. Didymus in Greek means twin. Actually, they're not really twins. One is a mountain and the other one is the size of the great pyramid. So it's the size of the great pyramid that they want to get out of the way and they'll be using it as an experiment. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece 
in Capotá. We also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.